now that the concealer is on, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I do my contour. This is gonna be with my fingers. This is my Oma Beauty Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick. That's a long, brands gotta uh, chill out with these long ass names for things. So I'm just gonna, Sort of dab it in the area I want it. Nothing crazy, nothing that you can't do. I'm gonna put some here, put some here, 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 some here, boom. This right here, honey, is called the no makeup makeup look. If you're gonna wear makeup, okay, wear it so that it makes you look better, <laughs> uh, not worse, okay? That's the easiest way I could put it. There is no point in sacrificing your skin, your pores, if you're not gonna look good with it. You know what I mean? I know that I'm a different person with and without makeup. With makeup, honey, no. You can't tell her nothing. Without it, I'm as humble as can be. You could talk to me, tell me anything, give me advice, I'll take it. <laughs> Just wait till we do the hair. Just wait. Okay. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 310 Sun Beige. It's the foundation powder. I like to use foundation powder when I don't wanna use translucent powder. I'm just gonna set everything with this. Translucent, I like to use it for more of a brightening effect. Woo, going in with my tried and true. Now we're about to do a lot with this, okay? My Scott Barnes Cosmetics Sculpt and Contour Palette, baby. For brows, I'll probably do Sculpt, okay? But yeah, before I do that, I just wanna quickly run a brush, a spoolie through my brows, okay? Just so I can see what I'm working with. I'm just gonna form a line right here, going in with a really light hand. I just wanna enhance this line here and fill in any gaps. You can also use this to elongate the brow. And then I'm just gonna brush through it, nothing crazy, okay? A quick little something. I can go back in with a brow pencil if I want, but I really like how this looks. It looks very like natural. The brows are where the magic happens. And so far, I really like how this powder is working. Like you don't even look like you're wearing anything. I'm shook. Cause if your brows are janky, your whole face is janky. I'm sorry, I said it. I said it. You gotta understand that they make or break you. Uh, brow pencils are good for precision, okay? Powders are a little more fluid, but brow pencils, because they have such a thin tip, they are very good for precision things. They're good for like sharpening the edges, fine tuning. I'm taking a little bit of leftover foundation and uh, I'm just gonna sort of clean the line. You can do this with concealer. Use the tiniest bit. You can see the difference. I mean, who cares if they're not even? We're not going anywhere, right? We're at the house. I'm gonna take a regular um, contour brush and I'm gonna go in the shade frame, dab it, and I'm just gonna start putting it in the crease. Once I blend it out really well, I'm going to pull this product in this region and then start pulling it down for the nose contour. Sort of fluff it all out. We want everything to look seamless, right? No patches over here. Just press it into the crease and then start blending it and pulling it inward. See how I'm doing that? And then just kind of look at yourself in the mirror and figure out how far down you want to pull it, how long, how long do you want your nose to look, right? This brush I'm using is by It Cosmetics. It's like the dual ended face brush, but I'm using it in my eyes, of course. Don't be intimidated by labels and by definitions of what a brush should be. You can use it for whatever works for you, boo-boo. You're the artist, you're in charge. This is your show. 
Now I'm going to take an angled face brush and I'm going to, again, grab the shade frame. And I'm going to make my face look ugly like this because I wanna see where to put the contour. Same on this side. All right, uh, I'm going in with the same shade I used in my eyes. We don't want it to look muddy, so I'm going in with a cooler tone. And then you're gonna take the same brush that you used earlier for your, for your cheeks, and you're just gonna sort of blend it out. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna use the Scott Barnes Lip Brush, and we're gonna contour our lips. This gives the lips an appearance of being fuller. You're just kind of sh making a shadow. That doesn't have to be perfect because once you put the lipstick on and everything, it's gonna sort of wash it out, but this will give you an idea of where to put that lipstick and it'll just kind of all mesh together. This is the Scott Barnes Cosmetics uh, Chic Cheek Blush Palette and oh, Mango Fizz and Rose. Ooh, I went a little heavier on the Mango Fizz. This needs a little more pink. Mm. Now I'm gonna go in with Sweet Cheeks. It's like a peachy natural blush. Okay, go over my little nose here. Another brush and we're gonna take um, Mango Fizz right here. And just add it to like the lid slash lower crease. Okay, again, I'm not using eyeshadows. I'm not using anything other than contour palettes and blush palettes here, okay? I think I like the shade Minimalist. We're gonna put Minimalist right here just to kind of put something on the lids and give it a little something. It's like a really soft pink, okay? You can use your fingers when you want more pigment. This is what you do when you want that pigment that a brush can't just can't do. You can blend it out with a brush afterwards, but all right, a little more mango fizz. We'll do a blush topper. We're gonna do both glowy and showy. Bitch, come on, Scott Barnes highlight. These are blush amplifiers. They're not as intense as like a highlight, but they are very, look, I'm just gonna run it through. Ooh, hello, summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Let's just sit back in a while. Yeah, these are like, I would consider these highlights. I mean, he, 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 he can call them blush toppers if he wants. But I'm here to tell you, Miss Thing, these are highlights. We're gonna take my brightening powder from the NYX Contour, the Pro Contour Palette. Yeah. I love this for brightening purposes. Just absolutely love what it does for me. Boom. I'm gonna go in with some gloss. This is my go-to lip liner right now by KKW. Maybe a little bit of highlighter in the inner corner. Yeah, I think we'll finish off with that. But yeah, some eyebrow gel to seal the deal. Right here, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy, maybe pull it up a little. Run it over the little inner corner there. Mm -hmm. I always like to tilt my head so I can see what I'm doing because you don't always see highlight when you uh, apply it, you have to like kind of move around to see where it's going. I might do a little uh, eyeliner in the waterline, maybe some nude liner, maybe a false lash. How are we feeling about a false lash, you guys? I am almost ready to go do this hair. Now I like to just start at like the base and then comb through. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do lashes because realistically, you know, Okay, to finish things off, some nude liner.
Gonna add this ebony black eyeliner by Lancome right up under here, you guys. This is a great thing that you can do when you don't want to look like you're wearing any eyeliner, but you still want the eyeliner effect. Basically going in from the bottom and just packing in the pigment right up under here. All right, you guys, let's move on to the hair. I'm so excited. This is what your bun is gonna look like. Literally the easiest hairstyle you will ever do in your life. Look at that. Do you see how intense that is? Just, you could like slick up your hair and wear a cute ass ponytail just like this, just by having it wrapped up overnight. 